if you love me, you got to help me pass this bill. Oh, for the third day in a row, President Obama pushing Congress to pass his Americans Jobs Act quickly, saying the American people can't afford a long political fight, but that may well be what he and all of us are in for. He's still on the mission to get that jobs plan passed. And Chris Markowski, our watchdog on Wall Street, joins us this morning. Good day. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. My son didn't even pull that one on me yet. I mean, <laughs> you know, if you love me, you're going to get me that new Thor CD or something like that. So, uh, no, I didn't get that one pulled on me yet. Okay, so a lot of contention about this bill already. Uh, Obama's got it, his work cut out for him. Uh, tell, me, tell me what the biggest point of contention is for you as you observe it. Will it help the economy? The government, there's this idea here that the government can create jobs. That's not the job the, of the government. The government is to basically play as an umpire, to level the playing field for everyone. If you're going to put forward temporary tax cuts like they did for employers, employees, these various different things, it's too intricate. A small business owner, small business like a family, and you're bringing someone into your small, your family, you don't want to hire them for a year. And you're not going to make a decision like hiring somebody in the time and the money that it costs to train them, bring them in for a tax cut that's going to be gone 16 months from now. Right. We're hearing in Congress, too, a lot, about, a lot of Republican opposition on the points of the following. So he talks about wanting to tax the wealthiest of Americans. He talks mm -hmm. about wanting to put taxes on corporations. And mm -hmm. I think the American people see that as if there's anyone who can afford to pay for it, isn't it them? Why shouldn't we take money from them? But there may be another way to uh -huh. look at that. I, I, well, in my opinion, there is. <laughs> um, I don't think you go about taking money out of the economy from the people that are creating jobs to go ahead and create jobs. And why does a jobs package need to cost anything? Um, I'm all for eliminating all sorts of loopholes and tax credits and all sorts of nonsense that they have out there. Our tax code's close to 70,000 pages long. You want to create jobs? Let's cut it all down. Let's have three separate rates. Get rid of all the deductions whatsoever. Make it so it's coherent, so people can understand it, so they know what's going to happen next. Small business owners are looking out over a minefield. Mm -hmm. They don't know what's going to happen next. They don't know what the next cost is going to be. They don't know what the next tax is going to be. They don't know what their costs from Obamacare is going to be. This is what's holding the economy back. You bring clarity to the marketplace. You eliminate all those mines, then you'll have job creation. I want to talk to you, too, about the, the soundbite we just heard from the president. Uh, we love you. If you love me, you'll pass this. That's, that was actually to a, to a crowd of college students in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, and so I, I wonder what the, what the jobs picture is like for college kids about to graduate. Uh, does it look favorable for them at all? No experience coming into the job mm -hmm. market. Uh, what is this next generation looking at? Well, it is it most certainly a little bit more difficult than it has been in the past, but even if you take a look and you break down the unemployment numbers, um, people who are educated are more apt to get a job than are not. And obviously, um, if you've got a job in engineering or in the sciences, these things like that, they're, they're up and coming careers that people are definitely looking to get into where businesses need to hire in. There's actually been shortfalls in regards to that where they want to increase HB1 visas to bring people in from outside the country to fill some of these positions. So you've got to be pretty smart when you're going to college. You've got to know what the jobs are going to be for the future. <laughs> <laughs> Not more smart than you have to be to navigate your way through what comes after. All right, Chris Murkowski, Watchdog on Wall Street. Nice to have you with Pleasure. us this morning. Pleasure, thank you. All right, Jennifer Epstein here now with you, Scott.